well uh, good morning dear and welcome back so you have started watching videos on uh, mathematical foundation on robotics and i am prasad nandi today we are going to discuss very important topic uh, you know that null space optimization and this is the characteristic feature of cobot and humanoid robot only so you have uh, studied the resolved rate control right and uh, in my earlier lectures and you know what null space is and here we would like to uh, understand the theory behind uh, null space optimization means that is i have several joints okay in the null space and we would like to uh, select those joints uh, why optimization comes into picture i am telling you that eh? that we need to select those joint which will not um, uh, violate their Uh, joint range because as you know like human hand each and every joint has some range not all the joints can actually uh, rotate 0 to um, 360 degree eh? so within that constraint how to extract uh, optimum solution based on some optimality criteria that's the thing which you are going to study today so stay tuned and then um, fasten your seat belt right so main objective is to exploit the null space because we have null space we have created null space why because we have redundancy eh? so in, even if there is no redundancy of course null space uh, may be there in industrial robot also but for redundant robot the null space is the characteristic feature so when we have null space the general open loop solution of the uh, of the differential equation you know um, x dot equals to mm, j theta theta dot so this is a differential equation and it will have uh, solution uh, two solution you know um, particular solution and um, homogeneous solution homogeneous solution is corresponding to this equal to zero mm, which we call null space solution isn't it by definition you know this is zero is null space solution okay so the general open loop solution is actually theta dot equals to uh, um, particular solution plus i is the unitary matrix n cross n uh, for n link robot minus this is a pseudo inverse you know j inverse uh, is a function of theta and j theta uh, and theta dot zero so that means null space velocity right so what is this this is nothing but a transformation matrix which transforms this vector or project this vector in the null space huh? so this is uh, nothing but um, uh, fruits of homogeneous solution okay now as you know that uh, we can write the um, uh, open loop solution has a problem huh? Uh, what is the problem drift what is it since when we are numerically computing there will be some error numerical error in the theta space and then um, theta will not be accurate and as a result of that the uh, all the theta will have some inaccuracies and the uh, tool um, position will be erroneous so we would like to avoid that and how to avoid that we also discussed uh, it can be avoided by an algorithm called uh, closed loop inverse kinematic algorithm yeah. and that closed loop solution uh, for theta is equals to this theta dot equals to um, pseudo inverse uh, times x b plus so this is the control uh, control law we are writing yeah. and uh, it will be clearly understood uh, just uh, mm, just few minutes and uh, when also it will be understood when you actually study control <coughs> okay but nevertheless you just uh, assume right now that we have added a feedback loop show that my error in the steady state the drift uh, that is the uh, numerically computation error in the steady state will be zero okay error means the difference between desired value and actual value so this we are going to uh, tell you hmm. plus this is the um, so we have a, a closed loop here uh, so this is particular solution 
and this is our um, null spec solution okay so we will try to um, see that how we can actually optimize and there are many techniques actually for null space uh, null space um, uh, um, utilization on some performance criteria and thereby we can uh, extract null space optimized solution based on some per performance criteria for example uh, joint limit avoidance velocity limit avoidance peak torque avoidance obstacle avoidance singularity avoidance all these are actually uh, if my these are my performance criteria then <coughs> that uh, null space uh, optimum solution may help me in avoiding uh, this right so these are all these are called constraint based criteria constraint based criteria so as you know say uh, take the example of joint limit of violence huh? as i told you that every joint uh, every joint uh, in a uh, robot has some range huh? for plus 55 to minus 141 that means say joint number um, <coughs> joint variable one so this one this cannot rotate uh, 0 to 360 degree so instead it can rotate in a um, uh, counterclockwise uh, direction 51 degree and clockwise direction minus 141 so range is 192 uh, degree like that okay so if these are the thing then uh, so this is this is a uh, constraint right within that constraint what are the joint uh, null space velocity which is acceptable because as i told you that there will be in the null space when you are projecting uh, this velocity using this transformation matrix then you will be giving uh, you will be getting options right so if one is reaching to the um, first of all we will try uh, to make the joint uh, in and around their uh, midpoint okay uh, my optimality criteria i will define the function in such a way that uh, it will try to ensure that my joint limit is not violated even if some joint limits are violated we will stop that and then uh, we can also have a um, option to select other uh, um, null space velocities which can give a proxy to the uh, uh, null space um, solution eh? uh, like that actually if this joint has reached to the limit then i can operate this joint and that joint uh, keeping this joint uh, hold this joint constant because it it has cross uh, it is about to cross the uh, joint limit so these are very interesting topic and the research is um, many research has been done uh, so velocity limit avoidance you can also cannot avoid um, cross the velocity limit uh, um, otherwise motor torque will be uh, peak torque avoidance means motor uh, can generate some torque okay so you cannot avoid that cannot go beyond that and mostly when your manipulator is reaching towards singularity there will be tendency for the controller to extract more and more torque okay so we need to have some kind of check here okay so check means what what are the null space joint how the joint velocities will um, inject so that uh, peak torque uh, can be avoided then obstacle avoidance also you see uh, if say i have i have joint like this so here is an obstacle huh? so i can avoid this obstacle huh? i can avoid this obstacle uh, i can avoid this obstacle uh, by manipulating hmm, by manipulating several other joints which are uh, creating a null space that means i will i will not operate this because uh, if they are going in this direction or that direction then there will be um, collision with this obstacle so instead other joint i will uh, i will manipulate so that avoiding the obstacle the end effector can achieve desired velocity also so similarly similar is the concept of singularity avoidance so all these uh, are called const constraint based criteria and if we fix this criteria then we, i can extract the optimum solution in the null space similarly we have uh, dexterity speed of operation load carrying capacity manipulator precision energy minimization 
so if i put this criteria uh, they, they, they are called operational uh, operational um, goal based criteria huh? so if i my requirement is that i will um, operate manipulator with minimum um, energy right as i told you right had i been uh, if we had several other joints here and my objective was to reach to my fingertip then i will not operate so many joints huh, to reach to my uh, nose tip instead i will operate this joint only and reach to the uh, nose tip so th this is actually energy minimum energy uh, um, criteria i have put and i have extracted this solution so your null phase can also be exploited to extract this operational um, uh, goal, uh, operational goal. Right? Now let us see how fast we can uh, actually uh, resolve the redundancy and then we'll talk uh, about the uh, optimization. Yeah. So see, this is actually closed loop um, inverse kinematic algorithm, uh, which perhaps you have seen here I am uh, earlier lecture. But here I am going to discuss in little detail. So this is my desired trajectory. Hmm? So this is my desired trajectory and this is my PD proportional derivative loop. So when it is go, uh, going over here, so this is becoming um, this. And you see this is theta, theta, actual theta and then actual theta. And then uh, you are getting actual x by passing it through, um, passing it through the forward kinematics block so you will get actual and here it is you are getting theta desired so oh, this is um, theta actual from forward kinematics with this theta value and here what you are getting is the xd minus x that is uh, which we have defined to be as error okay so and you are uh, multiplying error with kp so here what you are getting signal what you are getting is kp times error so this is uh, here what you are getting at the main task phase solution or a particular solution uh, you are getting that um, <coughs> x d dot plus kp e right so this is uh, actually um, uh, the way we can um, resolve main task solution okay so input is this and mentors solution um, uh, I can uh, get an output of, of this is the solution uh, theta dot and there will be null space solution also as uh, we have uh, discussed and so these two addition of these two you are getting my point right addition of these two say this plus this uh, addition of, so this is what I am discussing uh, particular solution and this is null space solution. So we'll be coming over here and then I am integrating it and getting theta. So this is a loop actually. Yeah. Mm, uh, so this is redundancy resolution uh, uh, loop and uh, this loop will continue till error becomes zero. And in fact, I will just prove that uh, in doing so, mm, in doing this kind of feedback loop, I can really make error, steady state error zero. Look carefully here. So this is my solution, um, this is my particular solution, right? This, uh, and also I know theta dot equals to j inverse x dot. So this is giving me that uh, j inverse x dot, this is actual, uh, uh, this is actual, equals to um, j inverse x desired dot plus kp, times error. So this I am taking it, I am putting it here. Hmm? Um, <clears throat> so um, this is actually theta. So uh, um, if I am taking it here, so x uh, uh, j inverse x desired dot minus x dot plus j inverse kp error equal to zero I am getting. right. So this is giving me j inverse error dot because I have defined error to be like this and error dot is like this so equal to zero and then uh, since this 
cannot be zero if uh, inversion of the uh, Jacobian matrix. If it is not, uh, it will not be zero. We are assuming so this will be zero, and this if this is zero, then we can have a steady state error analysis. So what is steady state error analysis? I can give you an example. Say you are uh, boarding on a flight and it is taking off. The aircraft is taking off. Before taking off, it attains a great velocity so that it will have enough uh, lift, okay, so that it can fly and then it will fly. And for several minutes, maybe sometimes half an hour, it will just fly of high and high and high so that it can attain its desired trajectory, uh, desired level, okay. Uh, and that is called transient state of the aircraft. And transient state is bad actually. Eh? Uh, there will be lots of um, discomfort and all kind of thing and if you, you, you will see that uh, you will not be allowed um, uh, to, uh, to open your seat belt, right? You will have to always um, uh, close your seat belt eh? <coughs> and then there will be no food served eh? uh, till the aircraft is actually ascending um, and trying to reach to the uh, designated trajectory. So this is analogous to a transient state. Now when it is achieving to the desired trajectory and moving at a very high um, uh, speed, say 900 km per hour, like that, inside you will feel, uh, you may feel that uh, aircraft is not moving at all. So for you, it is in uh, pseudo-static state and we call the aircraft has reached uh, in a steady state and uh, in the steady state trajectory, uh, normally we, um, so what is steady state? Steady state is virtual static state, uh, which is comfortable and you can, uh, meal can be served and you can just um, uh, move around, I can, you can, um, you, you can uh, open your seat belt, all kind of thing. So, um, this is Transient state and steady state. So in the steady state is a virtual static state because uh, virtually in, uh, whoever is in the ground, of course, um, the aircraft is moving at a very high speed. But inside, passing, uh, who are inside the aircraft, for them, the aircraft is not moving at all. So this is actually theoretical. I just try to give an example, analogical uh, example, that why um, steady state error we consider virtual static state of any system, okay. So in the steady state, let us see what happens. Uh, this is called steady state error analysis. Steady state, in the steady state, since this um, uh, system also reached the virtual static state, so all the um, derivative dependent, time dependent uh, terms can be put to zero. So what you are getting is Kp, Kp times error equal to zero. Now Kp is a gain parameter which cannot be zero. So error is zero. So this is a proof that doing this, uh, the uh, doing this kind of feedback loop, the steady state error can be made to zero. Now null space optimization and how it works. Now let us consider a typical example of joint limit avoidance. That means my uh, objective is that uh, the manipulator should not uh, collide with the other link. Okay. So what we are trying to do, we are trying to define an objective function, okay, and these are all in vector form I have written, so 1 by n, uh, i equals to 1 to n, n is the number of link, okay, so this is the mid join value, okay, and uh, this is that uh, join value minus mid, and divided by its range, represent maximum and minimum limit. So in defining the um, objective function in this way, we are trying to search those uh, joint values which are uh, closer to the um, middle of the range value, right? <clears throat> so this is the objective function very intuitively, very nicely defined and squared. So this is a uh, quadratic in nature, eh? so it will have uh, a good save like this. Eh? So this uh, phi function and uh, so theta you can you can <coughs> uh, run algorithms okay uh, 
uh, gradient decision type algorithm and you can uh, figure out what is the uh, optimum value okay so we can have an null space optimizer like this hmm? so this is very simple uh, null space optimization technique okay and uh, it is very very required because we want that none of the joint our criteria constraint based criteria is none of the joint should um, should uh, cross their range and at the same time they should not collide okay so the, so having knowing all this so now you see the jacobian singularity uh, avoidance because still jacobian matrix is prone to uh, have singular configuration because there could be some singular uh, configuration for which the determinant of the jacobian matrix could be zero and in case of um, uh, in case of pseudo inverse the determinant of this jacobian uh, can be actually zero and we do not want that these are called singular configuration okay so what to do how to avoid that singular configuration there are uh, few techniques for that first we can replace the inverse of the jacobian with the damped inverse that means so what we are doing we are in our um, resolved uh, e e control equation we are just writing plus lambda i unitary matrix so lambda is a small constant added to the diagonal eh? and in doing so this is similar eh? similar of what eh? in the machine learning you have studied the regularization of normal uh, equation where we did the similar kind of thing is a regularizer right and in doing so, the singularity uh, of the matrix can be avoided. So we have done like this here also, same thing. So this is one way. Uh, this, of course, this introduces some error in theta d because this open loop uh, uh, resolved uh, control. So which uh, actually we have just talked about uh, closed loop inverse kinematics algorithm. So using that, we can uh, figure out a um, good solution for closed loop solution for theta dot. So another uh, way of um, avoiding that um, Jacobian singularity is to calculate pseudo inverse. Okay. So having this property J inverse J equal to unitary matrix, uh, mm, uh, just as inverse does, it is defined as this and this uh, solution, uh, this solution provides the pseudo inverse, provides a least square solution for which uh, j theta dot minus x dot is smallest okay so this is pendo's um, uh, more pendo's uh, um, uh, pseudo inverse method ensures that so we can apply pseudo inverse or jacobian um, for which uh, this property is there so if my um, manipulator jacobian is reaching singular we can do this and then can be singularity can be removed but another approach is to delete from the jacobian all those columns that are linearly dependent on other columns mm. which effectively locks the joint corresponding to the deleted column but this is not a good idea because you know um, the um, the in in doing so uh, your manipulator could be um, uh, over constrained okay that is uh, sometimes not desirable if when you have a joint you should utilize it you should not lock it okay i think the best solution is this uh, also it is difficult to figure out which of the columns uh, are linearly dependent because you know jacobian matrix uh, as you know um, this uh, how it is calculated So this is one column, another column is, uh, another column is this, huh? so it continues huh? like that, huh? so this is the Jacobian matrix, so what we need to do, we need to just uh, isolate a column, so th actually this is, the column is very interesting, 
in the Jacobian matrix, if you morphologically study, uh, dissect it, then you will see each column actually is, uh, <coughs> for a particular joint motion, the column is capturing the differential motion of all uh, of, of the um, Cartesian space, uh, the F1, F2, F3, right? So, other joints, how other joints change actually influence the Cartesian space change like that. So, you will have to isolate this, say this and this are um, dependent, uh, linearly dependent. So, you, uh, that means their dot product, if, uh, if the two vectors are same, the um, cos theta means cos among them will be uh, zero. So, you can make the dot product and you can see uh, if the theta between them is zero, um, then uh, they are dependent. Hmm? You can make a, um, and try to figure out the angle between these two vectors. Eh? And if they are um, uh, superimposed or parallel, eh? then they are dependent. Eh? And then they will create the um, singularity. Anyway, so um, these are some of the techniques which can help you in avoiding singularity, okay, which is a must for controlling robot smoothly yeah, in an automated way. Okay. So with this, I think we have learned uh, many things about um, collaborative robot and uh, redundant and human eye robot. Uh, that null space, how to optimize null space very easily, then how to <coughs> make a resolved um, uh, control more um, uh, more accurate by making a PD loop, when you're making a closed loop, that also you have learned. And um, also, once you have the uh, um, null space, then how to, uh, you can have some objective criteria and based on that you can to optimize the null space velocities okay, by um, exploiting the um, the homogeneous solution. Okay, and with this, we, uh, these are the references. Okay, these are uh, these are classical paper, papers. Uh, this is very unresolved control. Uh, so this is also a very good paper. So you can um, see this, and uh, I think whatever problem if you have come to the discussion forum and with this I will conclude our discussion on resolved control uh, to and null space optimization techniques. So wish you all the best, stay safe, bye bye.